You know, this front panel is looking kind of busy, so I think I'm going to uh, replace it. I'm going to remove this wood mounting board, and I'm going to replace it with a metal one. And so here's the new front panel that I just received from Front Panel Express. And so here's the new panel, and actually what I'm going to do is i got to pop this off, because you see it's a little bit wider than this one, because it's, I'm going to mount it from the back side. But it's basically going to fit in here like that. And I had a nice little engraving done here to kind of try to make this thing look a little bit symmetrical. Because even though these holes are different, for example, these two engravings are the same. This is where the Victron battery monitor will go. This is where the EMS will go. And this is where the Mopeka tank check will go. The main panel will go here. And I didn't put any screw holes in it yet because I was not getting any kind of consistency on the dimensions. So what I'm going to have to do is put the panel in first and then drill the holes. And then these are all little expansion panels. And I'm going to have to tap these because I'm actually saving myself probably quite a few dollars. So for just a little bit of effort, you can save yourself a little bit of money. And these will be tapped for 440 and I also used this as a template and drilled holes and put in some uh, captive nuts for 632. And to remove this panel, I'm going to have to take all these things out. And it looks like this is just stapled from the back side, so I should be able to just take a mallet, tap around here and get everything out. So we're going to pull all these pieces out and then see if we can tap it out. You know, I've been kind of wanting to do this since I bought this trailer, so here goes. And sure enough, it's just held on by some staples. We'll keep it in case the other one doesn't fit. So I've got this cleaned up, and this is the new front panel. And it should just slide in here like that, if I've measured everything correctly. And I'll have to center it up. But there we go. And I'm using these little screw starters. I don't know if you can see. They're called gimlets. And you put them back here, pre-start a screw, which is almost essential. Or otherwise, it's really hard to do that from behind. And now that i got the main console panel in, I can start populating all the expansion boards in these slots. Well, finally, we're pretty much done with the project. Again, this is the original panel. And we had six expansion panels across the sides and these three panels across the top. These two panels are blank panels and I have plans for one of them. The other one I don't have any plans for yet. But that's why I made this into a modular design so that I can make changes. If I need to recover more space, then I can drill holes across the bottom for circuit breakers. So I've left that option open. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I actually think this come up pretty darn good.